Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do some unboxing with you guys. This is my number one Anthurium wishlist plant. It's the number one on the top of my list and I'm so excited to open this package. Um, I hope it arrives safely. So this is an import from Equigenera. I've ordered Equigenera uh, twice before and I actually placed an order about a week ago. So this is a plant package that they sent to me. They watched my last Equigenera unboxing and update video and I ordered a lot of Anthuriums in that order. So they said, well, you really like Anthurium, so I thought you would like this plant. And here it arrived. Hello, I'm editing the video right now and I just received a message from Equigenera. They agreed to give me a 10% of discount code. If you use my code Awards World, you'll get 10% off on everything on Equigenera.com website. I'll put the code on the corner of the screen, either this side or that side. So it is in the evening. I'm supposed to film this video after work, but um, yeah, there's some emergency. And I share the, the story with you guys on Instagram and Facebook if you have not followed me. But if you want to get to know me better, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I'm pretty active. So I got this super crazy red rash. I put on some anti-itch cream but it didn't help and the rash just expanding and I couldn't really focus because it's so itchy. Um, so I did a teledot, um, talked to the doctor there and he was like, mm, it might be tick bite you probably should go to see a local doctor. So I drove to the urgent care in my area after work and the doctor was like, well, we don't see a tick there, but it does not mean it's not a tick bite. So we're going to treat it like a tick bite. So she prescribed um, two weeks of antibiotics and some steroids and yeah, so Hopefully, with the prescription, I will feel better. Anyways, I'm feeling fine, just very itchy right now. <laughs> um, but I'm just so glad that we can finally open this package together. Okay, there's some um, shredded paper. Actually, a lot of them. And... Okay. This is the plant and this is the packing list. All right, I'm so excited. This one is an import plant and as always, I will give you guys one month update. I've been <laughs> importing plants so frequently, pretty much like every month I have an, uh, a package coming from overseas. So I'm not an expert here, but I think I, I do have a little bit experience. Uh, I got a lot of questions from you guys about import, so I'm going to talk about them in this video as well. All right, let's open this plan. Okay. In about a month, my another Equigenera order will arrive. So I will definitely film another unboxing video. Oh my gosh, wow, look at the size, <gasps> look at the size of the leaves, wow, this is an Anthurium luxuriant, 
Oh my gosh, it is so dark and look at that texture. Oh my god. And this is the second leaf. And this is the third one, it's a baby leaf. Wow. It looks so gorgeous. This is so pretty. I'm so excited. All right, let's check the roots. I hope the roots are good. I always order anthuriums from Equigenera because they are good shippers. They also have very good price on Philodendrons, Monstera, um, Peperomia. I did get a Peperomia from them and oh my gosh, it's growing like crazy. Okay, let's take a look at the roots. The moss is a little bit moist. Not wet, it's moist. So this is perfect. Wow, can you guys see? Guys, look at these roots. Look at these. That is crazy. It's so white and plum. They feel a little bit dehydrated, but it's okay. I'm going to put that in water and um, give it a nice bath. It will be happy and bounce up very soon. It is so awesome. It's been two months and I'm here to give you all an update. I did not take any photos or film any videos earlier simply because I'm lazy. But it's been two months and I thought, okay, I should sit down and share with you what the plant looks like now um, because it does has some changes. In my experience, it usually takes about one to two months to rehab imported plants. What does that mean? It means it takes about one to two months for that very first leaf, the acclimate leaf to come in. Once you see the new leaf come in, you know the plant got good roots and the plant is not dying. So the plant is right here. Let me bring it over. This plant did perk up after 24 or even 12 hours, I forgot because I did not film any update. So this is the very biggest leaf. Look at how amazing, how dark the foliage is. It looks like dinosaur skin. I've never seen dinosaur, but this is what I've seen in TV and in movie. And look at this. It is so stunning. And this is a smaller leaf. It's still very gorgeous. It's perfect. And this is the oldest leaf. It's small. So this is the plant. It is so cute. So gorgeous. It also has a little bit blue tone on the foliage. And this is so cool. And yes, it has a new leaf. This is the new leaf. It's so dark, so glossy. I'm wearing a black t-shirt and you guys can do a little bit comparison. It's very dark and also has a little bit red tone or brownish tone in it. It's so cool. And if we look at the back of the new leaf, it has dark red color or maroon color. Anthurium's new leaf usually come in small and then they will expand and grow. So I'm really hoping this leaf can be as big as this one or even bigger than this leaf. It is such a beautiful plant. And I have to say this plant is so hardy because I put it by the draft and it's doing okay. Look, it's so gorgeous. I did top with some moss here. And I noticed that if I don't top with moss, the new leaf usually grows smaller or not as big as the previous one. But if I put some moss to help with the aerial root to get stronger or get more, 
um, the new leaf usually gets bigger than the previous one. All right, I just put my plant away, but you all can still see one of the leaves here. Um, I'm going to answer some questions about importing plants. I really want to go deep, go thorough in this video because I know when it comes to importing, there's always a lot of questions and it's risky. Um, it's expensive, so you don't really want to put that much of the risk if you know there are some ways to lower the risk. Question number one. How to fight a reputable seller? I've done a lot of imported plant unboxing videos in my channel before and those companies that I work with or all the plants from, I highly recommend. They got good customer service and the plants all arrive safely. Of course, I have good experience and other people have good experience um, from the same company. It does not mean everything will go very well because customs, the US custom might decide to open your package and keep your package for a few weeks and when you receive your plans, if you're active on social media and your posts are about plans, you might have received messages or DMs like, hey, I got some plans and I ship plans globally. Um, I can give you a very good price, send me a DM. But when I check their profile photo or the link, they don't have a website. They sell plants through the story or through the post. Can you really trust those sellers? My answer is it depends. Do some research and ask around if people have other plans from those sellers before. And a lot of them only accept PayPal through friends and family. That does not really guarantee anything. I would only trust the ones that people have experience ordering from them and also recommend them. If you order plants from overseas, 99% you'll need a phytosanitary. It is a legal document that shows the plants that you purchase and it passed that local agriculture um, standard, something like that. The phyto is so important, especially when the plant arrives in a different country. The custom would need that documentation. If they don't see the legal documentation, they will destroy all the plants. If you are located in the US and you are importing under 10 or 12 plants, your phytosanitary might be around $25 or $35. It also depends on the seller. They might decide to waive the phytosanitary fee. Um, now I want to talk about Equigenera because you don't need to pay for phytosanitary simply because I don't know about the other country, but in the US, they do have a nursery in Florida. So the process is they ship their orders from the nursery in Ecuador to Florida to their nursery and then from Florida they will ship the plants to um, different cities in the US. So yes you are importing plants but you are not importing plants because they ship from Florida. Now let's talk about the shipping cost. Equigenera charge $15 for shipping plus $2 per plant. So if you order two plants you are paying $15 and four dollars for shipping so 19. if you're ordering four plants you are paying 15 dollars and eight dollars which is 23 dollars for shipping so i think that is very uh, reasonable in the u.s they ship through ups ground they also give you an option to upgrade your shipping to two-day shipping but i found that um, it only takes about three days for the plants to get to my place. So I, I've never paid for the upgraded shipping. But if the temperature in your area or the weather is like extremely cold or extremely hot, I highly recommend you all to upgrade the shipping. And another nice thing is if they are doing a pop-up shop in your area, how to find out, go to their website. Um, and 
you can pick up your plants at the pop-up shop or the orchid show that they participate in and you can save a lot of shipping money if you live close to their florida nursery you can also pick up your plants there and it's even cheaper um i believe it's like one dollar per plant and you also don't need to pay that fifteen dollars it's very easy to order from equigenera.com of course you need to register for an account and then you add the plants that you like put it in the cart and then go check out and you can select your ship to location to your home address or to pop-up shop or orchid show after reviewing the details you can go pay i usually pay through paypal which means i need to pay additional four percent transaction fee you can also choose wire transfer but i've never done that i feel more comfortable to pay through paypal because if something goes wrong in the process i can always go back to paypal and paypal will protect um, my benefits if you have done some research about equigenera you will find a lot of different websites one is equigenera.com and then they also have equigenerausa.com now they also have a california site and they probably have more for different countries or different cities i don't know anyways if you order from equigenerausa.com they ship the plants from florida nursery and those plants are in soil or in moss they're in the pot the acclimation time at your home will be way shorter than ordering plants from equigenera.com if you order plants from equigenera.com they are imported plants they ship their plants from ecuador to the u.s and then to your home address or the orchid show or pop-up shop after ordering from them so many times i would say at least four i did order another package from them after i filmed the first part of the video <laughs> they have great customer service like amazing customer service i placed an order about two weeks ago during their summer sale and i got an email and they told me that my plans will arrive um at the beginning of september but it is still pretty hot here in kansas city so i asked them if it's possible to delay my shipment to the beginning of october and they said yes so that is perfect if you want to order your plans during one of their crazy sales but you don't want to pull up with the extreme weather Ask them if they can delay the shipment. Maybe they can do something for you. If you want to check how long it usually takes to get your plants through UPS Ground, I use a website. I will put the link in the description box. If you put their Florida nursery zip code and your home zip code, it will show you exactly how many days. And I found that information very, very accurate. Now, let's talk about expectation. After you open your package and you see some yellow leaves, it is sad, but I want to tell you this is 100% normal. One or two yellowing leaves here and there is very common for imported plants because it's just a long journey for those poor guys. As long as the rest of the plant and the roots look all right, it will be fine. What if you're very unsatisfied with the overall condition? For example, most of the leaves are yellow and the roots are rotted or most of the plants got heat damage or cold damage there's a few things that you can do or you should do make sure to take pictures or videos to document everything and contact Equigenera within three days let them know you received the package and these are what you see and ask them could you please let me know what I should do right now? Or could you send me a replacement package? Or could you ease your refund? Make sure to contact them within three days. This is the key. If you wait too long and you thought, okay, I just got bad luck, don't have that mindset. If you contact them, they might be able to do something for you. I contact them one time because I was not satisfied with the condition 
and they agreed to send me a replacement package. Talking about replacement, in my very first Equigenera order, my friend and I ordered plants together and she got an Anthurium Magnificum. But when I opened the package, I feel like it looks like a verde to me. So I took some photos, reached out to Equigenera, asked them to confirm the variety that I received and they said, yeah, this is a verde. Apologize for sending me the wrong plant. And they told me next time when I order my plants from Equigenera, they will add the Anthurium Magnificum to my order. And they did. And that plant actually arrived in very good condition. Now let's talk about rehabbing plants. So first one, after I receive the plants, I give all of my plants a good inspection, just making sure there's no scale, no mealybugs, no visible pest. Step two, I use the cold shower water to give them a nice rinse, and then I put them directly to a bowl of water. And I will add some Super Thrive. This one provides the vitamin that the plants need to rehab. It just helps the plant recover better. I put a couple drops of um, Super Thrive into the water with the instructions for the amount and let the plant sit in the water for 24 hours. Every other day, I give my plants fresh water. I use tap water and they're fine. Step three, I put all the imported plants in a clear storage tote, a big tote. The enclosed environment will bring the humidity up so it helps the plant get hydrated easier. And I will keep all the plants in the storage tote for at least a week. After a week in water, you'll be able to see how many of those woods are still good and how many of them are rotted. If they're rotted, I will take the plants out from water and remove all the rotted pieces and put it in hydrogen peroxide and water solution. I usually do one part hydrogen peroxide and two parts water. And I'll let the plants sit in that solution for half an hour. Usually after two weeks, I pot my plants up. All right, I think that's everything I want to cover today. If you think I missed anything or if you have any follow-up questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching. If you find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hopefully subscribe to my YouTube channel. And one last time, I want to show you this gorgeous Anthurium Luxurian. It's so pretty and look at the new leaf. It's amazing. And don't forget, I am active on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to give me a follow. I'll put my social handle here. That's it for today. My name is Nicole. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.